Now listen to a geology professor talk about geothermal energy. The first use of geothermal energy in North America probably took place more than 10,000 years ago. This is when Aboriginal people settled around mineral hot springs. The hot springs served as a source of warmth, also cleansing and healing. Hot springs were so important to Aboriginal North Americans that they were considered neutral zones, places where members of warring tribes could bathe together in peace. In European history, people also valued hot springs for their healing powers. For example, the Romans used geothermal water to treat eye and skin disease, and also to heat buildings at Pompeii. Today, humans benefit in a much different way from this important natural resource. Ever since the world's first geothermal generated electricity was produced in Italy in 1904, we've tapped geothermal heat as a power source. Geothermal heat can generate electricity without the harmful fossil fuel emissions that cause pollution and climate change. In geothermal power plants, the physical force that spins turbine blades is steam, heat, or hot water. From within the earth. Another use of geothermal energy today is direct use of hot water. Direct use involves taking heated water without a heat pump or power plant and using it for industrial processes, or to heat buildings and greenhouses, or to supply heated mineral water for health resorts. The concentration of geothermal energy. Has to be very high in order to make heat extraction economical for a nation. Geothermal sites around the world aren't all equal in their power potential. The best places for developing geothermal energy systems are regions that are volcanically active, like places around the Pacific Rim and in certain parts of Europe. For example, Iceland is a geologic hotspot. Where geothermal energy is used to heat almost every home in the nation. Describe past and present uses of geothermal energy, and explain why some regions have better potential than others for developing geothermal systems.